Hello and welcome back to Exposing Human Trafficking. Um, the last video was very emotional and I wanted to clarify something. Um, as I was growing up, my stepfather was molesting me from the age of three. Um, he started doing the child porn at seven. He continued um, molesting me. But he didn't go all the way because there was that contract. Um... I remember my biological father had come. Um, my mom was upset about me going to the ritual, but she still let me go. And I remember them talking about that they were going to turn me into a Satanist. I was so stupid. And that they were rigging it so that I would have someone to get married that was a Satanist, which was Brad Pitt. Um, so that, you know... I'm from Puerto Rico and being married is a big deal. Um, so it was some kind of arranged marriage. But after, um, when I was 23, that's when my stepfather, George Bermuda Sr., started raping me every day before I went to work. I worked second shift. And I was home. Um, my mom wasn't doing well. She was she was ill she was having some problems and so I was taking care of the house and doing the laundry and the cooking and the cleaning um, and he would rape me every day and then he started offering me to men and trafficking me and my stepbrother George Bermudez Jr. he would come down to Florida every so often and they would take me places and they would make films that are on the internet today. Um, they did this again at knife point. They took advantage of me having a nervous breakdown and they also threatened that if they didn't do it to me, they would do it to my younger half brother who was 15 and I was afraid they'd hurt him or my younger sister, half-sister. Um, George Bermuda Sr. also ended up raping a few of my friends. And one of them, he did make movies. They trafficked her, they drugged her, and she's now catatonic. So I just wanted to clarify that, that I think the only reason why he didn't rape me when I was a little girl was because there was money involved in their arranged marriage scheme. So thank you for listening. Thank you for all your support. I love you guys very much for being here with me, listening to this and sharing it. I really don't want anyone else to go through what I did. And that's why I'm telling my story so that you know what goes on and you can warn others. You can notice the signs of what a victim is like. Um, I know I always had dark circles under my eyes because I didn't get a full night's sleep. And I was like, I don't know. I just was trying really hard in school so I could get out of there. I, I wasn't allowed to have a lot of friends because they didn't want them to know what was going on. So I know that it was suspected. Um, one of the reasons I hung out in church a lot was someone in my school told me that they couldn't prove what was going on. They knew something was going on and that when things got bad, I should run to the church, and the church was across the street from my house, and I spent a lot of time there with the nuns, and um, there was a few nuns that were there um, during my my school years, and, and the priests, and so that's why I spent a lot of time in church, because that's where I could get away from him for a while. All right, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, comment below, um, share, please don't ask me to come back to Jesus, I can't, I know too much now, and I have a goddess that has helped me, and it's kept me safe, and it's put me back together, 
and I'm very grateful to her. So there it is. Thanks.